So today you're going to learn how to perform your cradle spin into your back hook. It is also one of the spins that you normally go the reverse way that you would normally walk. So you're going to walk backwards. You will have to experiment with which way feels better for you, but the majority of my students do like to walk in the reverse motion. So you're going to take your dominant hand and start walking. With your dominant hand, you're actually going to slide it down to the bottom. This is your push hand, meaning it is pushing your body away from the pole. Your other hand is going to come up to the pole and pull your body in. When this happens, what I want you to do is flip your body horizontal and cradle the pole in your belly. So as you pull up, you're bringing the pole into your stomach. Okay, so you're actually spinning around the pole horizontally. Just make sure your bottom arm is strong enough to push you away from the pole so that you don't bang the ribs against it. So once again, walking the opposite way you're used to, you're going to slide the hands down, reach up, and push off into the pole. Perform your back hook, you would walk around the pole and step on your outside foot. This is your pivot point in your back hook. So stepping on the outside foot, you pivot into the pole, twisting so that your outside arm is going to grab underneath your dominant arm and pull and hook into your bicep. So when this happens, you are still going to turn around the pole and when you feel the back of your leg connect with the pole is when you will lift, point the toes and arch the back, coming into your back hook. So what a normal back hook would look like is this, stepping on the outside, pivoting and falling into the pole. When, once you perform your cradle, you are going to touch down with the outside leg and pivot falling into the pole exactly as you would with your back hook. So once you touch down, make sure not to drop your other leg or it's just going to take away all your momentum. You want to pivot as fast as you can falling into the pole so that your spin still has a lot of momentum and can propel you around the pole during your back spin. When you're coming from your cradle, you might have to do your back hook on your opposite side, so your non-dominant arm. This is where it comes important to really train unilaterally. So once again, you come into your cradle, touch down to your outside, pivot around, and raise your legs into the back hook. 